Okay, so what do we have here? Well, we got a basic algebra equation. And if you're studying any course like pre-algebra, algebra one, you certainly should know how to solve this basic equation. Now, a lot of students are gonna see this fraction part and they're gonna have a facial expression. Maybe they're gonna be sad. They're gonna be like, I don't wanna do equations with fractions. Maybe they're gonna be angry. They're gonna be like, oh no, give me anything but fractions. You know, I just wanna do problems like 2x is equal to six. Just give me the nice easy stuff. You can keep the fractions. Well, unfortunately, we need to know how to deal with fractions. And uh, fractions are not that difficult. We just have to just meet them head on. So I'm gonna give you some suggestions on how to get better at fractions, but you should be able to solve this uh, problem uh, in any sort of algebra course. We wanna do this correctly, but a lot of students, they, they see this fraction and they start thinking, what can I possibly do to get out of doing this problem with, uh, without the fractions, but still get the answer right? I'm gonna show you what a lot of students do. Hopefully you're not doing this, but if you are doing this, you, I want you to realize that you never want to do this. Okay, it's not the correct way to try to get the solution to this equation. So I'm gonna explain this um, uh, precisely in just one second, but first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm gonna leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I focus on middle school, high school, and college level mathematics. So my courses range from uh, pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything uh, in between. If you are taking an exam and it has math on it, I can help you uh, pass. So examples would be like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, ACUPLACER, CLEP exam, ALEX exam, teacher certification exam, you get the idea. There's a lot of exams out there and there's a lot of math on these exams. So I can help you pass the math portion of these exams. If you homeschool, I have a great homeschool math program. And if you need math notes to study from, you can use my math notes. I'm gonna leave links to those notes in the description of this video. But hopefully you do not need my math notes because if you're a math student, Okay, note taking is the number one most critical skill you need to be doing. Okay, I've been teaching math for decades, and this is really the key to being successful in mathematics is to start by taking great math notes. All right, uh, if you think you can uh, solve this problem, just pause the video. It should take you all of about 10 seconds to solve if you know what you're doing. But let's get into it now. Let's uh, talk about what people, a lot of students do. I'm sure I did this way back in the good old 1980s, 1970s when I was studying basic algebra. So here is uh, the situation, right? We have uh, 5 over 17t is equal to 3. So I'm like, I don't want to deal with this uh, fraction. So I'm going to get my lovely calculator out. And I'm going to go ahead and take 5 and divide it by 17. I'm going to come up with a bunch of decimals right here in my little window. And you're going to see 0 0.29411767. And I'm going to be like, okay, I'm going to turn this into a decimal and then just use my calculator to, you know, solve this problem. Now, that is a logical it's logical that a student would do this. I'm sure, again, I was doing this way back in the good old days. If you have a calculator, like I'm going to just, uh, you know, have the calculator deal with this fraction part. Now, sometimes calculators uh, depend on if you know how to use your calculator uh, appropriately or what type of calculator you have. You can actually um, uh, work with fractions and go from decimal to fractions in your calculator. But I wouldn't trust that so much, okay? Because really, I want to just highlight this point. Uh, that a lot of students do. So they'll take 5 over 17, they got this decimal, and they'll say, okay, I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to take uh, some of these decimals. I'm going to rewrite this equation uh, this way. So let me show you what students do. So let's focus on the wrong approach. So again, we go into our calculator, we go 5 divided by 17. We get all these decimals, but we're going to take some of the decimals. In this case, let's just take like uh, four of them, 0.2941. Uh, yeah, let's just take uh, 0.29401. We're certainly not going to write all these decimals out, right? We're going to do this problem pretty quickly. So 5 over 17, we'll have 0.29411 times t, okay, is equal to 3. And we know that to solve this kind of problem, all I have to do, for example, if this was like 2t is equal to 3, I just solve for t by dividing both sides of the equation by 2. So instead of dividing both sides of the equation by 2, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 0.29411, uh, and I will get my answer, right? So t is equal to 3 divided by 0.29411. So t, when I do this in my calculator, I take that 3 and divide by this, I get this answer, uh, 10. 
0.200612. Of course, these digits keep going. And, um, you know, some students might give me this answer. Some students might give me just 10. Some students might give me 10.2, whatever the case is, okay? Well, this is not the way you want to do this problem. All right, let's go, uh, let's take a look at the right approach here, and then we'll talk about why this is wrong. Okay, so the right uh, approach is to simply use your knowledge of fractions to solve this thing, okay? So we have 5 over 17 times t. Well, I want to get t by itself, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal, okay? Now, if you need any help with fractions or one-step basic equations, I have tons of videos in my pre-algebra playlist on my YouTube channel, or maybe you want to take my pre-algebra or Algebra 1 course, okay? So if you don't understand how to solve uh, this stuff or work with fractions, you definitely need to. But uh, what we need to do here to get t by itself to solve for t is multiply both sides by the reciprocal, okay? In other words, I'm just going to take that 5 over 17, flip it upside down at 17 times 5, but I need to multiply both sides of the equation by 17 uh, times 5. And when I do that, this times this is just going to be equal to 1. Okay, you can see everything cross cancels. This is just 1t. That's what I wanted. And now I have 3 uh, times 17 uh, fifths, or that's 3 over 1. So 3 times 17 is 51. 1 times 5 is 5. Now, this is the correct answer. If you gave me this, I would definitely give you an A+. Plus. But if you went into your calculator and you did 51 divided by 5, you would get exactly 10.2. T was, uh, is equal to 10.2. But let's look over here. Okay, what do we have here? We have T is equal to uh, 10.2006. All this right here, this is incorrect. This is the exact, precise, 100% right answer. This is an estimate, okay? So what ends up happening is when you change your fractions to a decimal, now there, there's times where you can have, like, let's say, the uh, 1 fourth, and you change that to 0.25. Uh, sometimes it'll work out for you, but very often times when you change a fraction into a decimal, you uh, um, are now estimating the answer. You're not going to get the exact answer. So let's take uh, this 5 over 17, for example. Again, here it's 0.29411. I mean, should I take this many decimals or maybe should I take this many decimals? Of course, the more decimal uh, points I, uh, places I take, the more precise my answer will be. But you just don't want to be doing this at all. Okay, You need to understand how to work with decimals, of course, and how to use your calculator. But really, the right approach is just to know how to work with fractions. Okay, So if you got this problem right, then that is awesome. I must give you a nice happy face, an A+, 100%, and a few uh, stars just to make you feel extra special. So nice job. Now, if you've been doing this or if you wanted to do this or if you felt like, yeah, I kind of like doing this sometimes, well, you want to realize that this isn't uh, how you estimate okay, the solution to this equation. And sometimes that is appropriate to do. Uh, you can um, you know, look to do esti uh, quick estimations of problems that is appropriate sometimes however you just need to know how to work with fractions and solve equations like this so again if you're struggling with fractions or basic uh, equations a uh, couple um, suggestions one if you like my teaching style I have a ton of videos in my pre-algebra playlist on my youtube channel that can help you out not only with uh, basic equations with fractions as well or maybe you uh, want to maybe check out like my pre-algebra course where I cover this stuff uh, extensively. Either way, if this video helped you out to some small degree, please consider smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider uh, subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over uh, a thousand plus videos basic to advanced mathematics. My goal is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. And I will always continue to be posting videos as long as I can on YouTube because, again, it's my passion to teach as much math as I can. I'll never run out of math problems to solve, but my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.